Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be opening the Google Home Mini Speaker. So this is a smart speaker powered by Google Artificial Intelligence, uh, part of uh, Google Assistant uh, devices. So there are many uh, devices you can buy uh, to access uh, Google's Artificial Intelligence or Google Assistant. And uh, this is Home Mini. So this is going to be uh, very similar to one of the Amazon Echo Dots uh, I have. So the reason I have these two here to compare, uh, you know, how it comp how does it compare uh, with uh, Amazon Echo Dot uh, 2 and Amazon Echo Dot 3. So let's start with the unboxing. But before I do that, uh, let's go through some specs which should be on the uh, box. So here you can see that uh, what Google Mini uh, can do. So you can call mom and then where's the nearest skating ring. Uh, set a 13 minutes timer and uh, turn up the thermostat. So you can do various things just like uh, Amazon Echo Dot or Amazon Alexa. And uh, in terms of uh, the services you can have access to. So you can uh, use uh, Spotify, Netflix, YouTube, Google Photos, Chromecast, so all these services you can access uh, via Google Mini. And then here we have uh, some other information. I've been using Amazon uh, Alexa for a while and I'd like to also start using the Google Home Mini smart speaker system to see you know what are the differences or similarities or which one is better or which one is has more features. So as I go through uh, opening up this and getting to know Google Home Mini system, in the future there will be more videos about uh, tips and tricks on Google Mini. Uh, the same way I have uh, tips and tricks on Amazon uh, Alexa. So let's start with the unboxing now. Okay, so we have the device which I'll set it aside and then let's see what's else inside the box here. So let's get started. Some information uh, brochure or information cards and get to know your Google Mini and be safe so looks like uh, that's all we have here I'll put this here and then we have a micro USB cord and looks like that's it so the box is actually empty and I'll set this aside here this is a charcoal color and it has a nice fabric wrap uh, just like uh, the Amazon Echo Dot third generation. Now this is very light. Uh, let me just compare it with Amazon Echo Dot 2. Uh, looks like they're very, uh, in terms of weight, could be their same. Uh, but if you take a look at Echo Dot 3, then definitely Echo Dot 3 is heavier than Google Home Mini and it's also bigger. So. If you just, you know, put them side by side, uh, definitely Echo Dot 3 is heavier and bigger. So if you compare it to Echo Dot 2, then looks like Echo Dot 2 is a little bit smaller and looks like almost the same weight. Okay, so I'll just set this aside here and uh, let's go through some of the buttons here. So here uh, there's a button uh, which you can turn off or on the capability to listen. So if you just turn it off, the device will not be able to listen to you. And then here's the micro USB slot. And then looks like that's all we have. And here's the rubberized uh, surface uh, to, so it doesn't slide. Uh, this is very similar like you know we have here on Amazon Echo Dot both so it's like same thing okay so what I'll do 
I'll just uh, power this up and then I will start uh, setting this for the first time on the phone. Okay, so I just uh, put power on. You don't have to actually use this cable. You can just use any uh, micro USB power. So I'm just using my uh, power bank and looks like it's trying to turn it on. So it should tell us. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay, so it's asking to download Google uh, Home app on the phone or tablet. So I'll just, uh, you know, uh, open up my Google Home and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so this is the Google Home. You can uh, download it on the Google Play Store or App Store. So I already have it on my phone. So I'm going to just turn it, uh, just open up the Google Home. Okay, it looks like to me that somehow it recognized that I have one device and it's giving me the message that set up one device and if I didn't have this then I'll just click here on the plus sign right here but I'll just you know uh, click on setup and see what happens here. It's asking me to uh, choose a home. You'll be able to control the device and services in your home and it's just giving me a few options. So home meaning my home. Uh, Shyla's home actually this is my sister's and then you can add another home so I'll just uh, check my own home and then we click on next okay so it's looking for devices and we'll see what happens here okay so it found Google Home Mini and would you like to set up this device yes So connecting to Google Home Mini, your phone or tablet may be disconnected, may disconnect from Wi-Fi during setup, which is just fine. Okay, so it's connected and asking me, did you hear the sound, which I did. Uh, so I can just go ahead and click yes. And help improve Google Home Mini. So, you know, it will share the device's stats and everything. So I'm just going to say no to this and where's the device? So I have to choose where's the devices. Uh, I'm going to just choose living room and click on next and it's asking me to choose which Wi-Fi network I'd like to set up. So here's a list of networks and I'm going to just choose my own Wi-Fi network which is one of these two. So I'll just click choose the first one and then next you say password okay so I already have a password saved on uh, my Google uh, on my Android phone so it looks like that you know it, it will use the same password and I'm going to choose that option and then I'll click next so it's trying to connect to Wi-Fi and let's see what happens here okay before using your Google assistant uh, here are a few things you need to know okay Okay, so I'll just click next and activate voice match on this device. So the device can recognize you by your voice. So this is a safer option because then it will not give you like, you know, personal information from your calendar or email or, you know, people cannot just uh, buy something uh, if uh, it's not you. So I'll just say yes to this so it can recognize my voice okay so here it, it's telling me that you know I already set up voice match with another device which is the Google assistant on my phone so it doesn't need me to set up voice recognition again so get personal results with your voice so just using the my old voice which I already uh, input uh, inputted before so I'll just agree to that and it's asking the address so which I'll uh, enter because it, this address uses for traffic and weather and other personalized uh, you know results so I'll just confirm my address 
and add music services so it can have you can it can play music from YouTube Google Play Spotify or Deezer so I'll just choose Google Play okay so you can link your streaming service like Netflix or others I'll just hit next okay and then here we have it's just trying to sign me up with an email and uh, I, I'll just you know skip this so I'll just say no okay here's a review of what you have set up so change your caller ID add your personal number so people know who's calling choose a TV and this is for video and music and address and everything I'll just uh, choose my caller ID and choose TV and choose music services okay so I hit continue So we're almost done. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. Okay, Google. Lower the volume. Okay, to increase or decrease the volume, uh, you can either like, you know, ask uh, to increase or decrease volume or you can just tap on the left or right. So let's say if you're tapping on the right, when you hear that tone, that means it's at its uh, highest volume. So I'm going to just lower it a little bit because it seemed to be too high okay okay so I'll just keep it here if you wanna like you know long press uh, then it would play and if you want to pause uh, press again so tap right volume up tap left volume down long press would be play or long press would be pause okay so let me just look if it can tell me the weather okay Google. what is the weather now currently in Toronto it's 14 degrees and cloudy Today, it'll be cloudy with a forecasted high of 16 and a low of 7. And if you want to listen to today's news, just ask. If you ever want to know what time it is, just ask. I'd like to point out a few things uh, before I end the video. Uh, I touched my uh, Google Home Mini and then I uh, connected my Alex uh, as well. Now, one thing you cannot do with Google Home Mini is that you cannot connect uh, via wire to a Bluetooth speaker or to a speaker it has to be connected via Bluetooth but with the uh, Amazon Echo Dot you have uh, the capability to connect it to a Bluetooth speaker via wire which I'm doing it here right now so it looks like uh, the Google Mini doesn't have the capability and then uh, some of the questions uh, I'll give you I'll ask some of the questions to both of these devices just to give you an example so for example okay Google. what time is it the time is 2.10. Alexa. What time is it? It's 2.10 p.m. Alexa. Where's the nearest Tim Horton? I found a Tim Hortons. It is 0 0.4 kilometers away on Bruyere Muse in Toronto. It is normally open until tonight at 11 p.m. Due to the holiday, alternate hours may be in effect. Okay, okay Google. What is the nearest Tim Hortons? I think you've got me confused with someone else. Tim Hortons is on 120 Fort York Boulevard in Toronto. It is 650 meters away and is rated 3.8 stars. Okay, so they're giving a uh, very similar information. And uh, some of the questions actually one does better and some of them the other does better. But there's something funny uh, which I'll uh, show you right now. So if you tell uh, Google or Alexa by the other's name, they get confused and they give funny answer. For example, Okay, Google, Alexa. I'm flattered, but that's not me. I'm your Google Assistant. Alexa. Okay, Google. Sorry, that's not me. It must be a case of mistaken AI identity. Okay, so you see that, you know, they recognize each other, but they don't want to talk about the others. So that's very funny. The setting up of the device is very easy and simple and i like that uh, when i have a f uh, when i set it up amazon uh, echo dot this is my feeling that uh, amazon echo dot setting up is slightly complicated than google home mini and in terms of like you know how they compare the uh, services and the information they're giving it then you know on those uh, once i learn both of them side by side then definitely i'll do more videos on that and then uh, I'll uh, let you know in the future. But so far, the initial experience is very good and uh, the setting up was fairly simple. The instructions are very 
well organized and simple as well so we have basically everything uh, you need to know on these cards and uh, they even gave you uh, a USB cable which was not necessary so everything was okay and uh, this is not a paid or affiliated review all my reviews are unaffiliated uh, non-affiliated unbiased and honest and I purchased this with my own money and I'm going to have uh, Echo Dot and Alexa side by side on my shelf and then I'll see how it goes and how they do in the future so that's all for now thank you for watching uh, forget about subscribing this channel and forget about liking this link Thank you for staying this long and I'll see you shortly. Thank you.